Well, I guess my biggest question is if you know anything about Scootaloo. Have you seen her lately? Or done anything with her? Uh, I thought it was Rarity who was stolen from. Why are you asking about Scootaloo? You didn't know? Scootaloo's the prime suspect for the crime. She's what?! I'm sure she's innocent, but if you know anything about what's going on with her at all, it'd be a big help. I know she trusts you a lot, so... Well, uh, no. Can't say I've seen her in, uh, a long time. Uh, weren't you about to say something? Me? <laughs> nope. Don't know what you're talking about, Twilight. Huh. <sighs> I have, I have a feeling, a feeling that, that unless, unless I present her with something that proves she's recently, recently interacted with Scootaloo, I'm, I'm probably, probably not, not going to get anywhere, anywhere here. here. Hey, Twilight! Check out these moves I've been practicing to show to the Wonderbolts! Zip, sow, whip! Pretty awesome, huh? You're, You're not, not even, even paying attention, attention to me, to me are, are you? you? Well, I guess my biggest question is... Uh... You didn't... I'm sh... Well... Uh... Me? Huh. This is one beautifully carved statue. I wonder what it's for. Oh, hey. There's a dedication here. Erected in honor of the bravest, most upright public servant Ponyville has ever known. I'm getting the sense that this is talking about the mayor, and was written by the mayor. Oh, hello! My name is Twilight Sparkle. Are you new in town? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, duh! I'm a time traveler. Name's Abby Sprocket. Uh, what now? I've, I've seen, seen weird, weird introductions, introductions before, before, but, but sheesh. sheesh. A time traveler. But my time machine broke down, so now I'm kind of stuck here. For now, at least. So I'm trying to make a living as best as I can. Nice place you got here, although a little rustic, if I may say so. Breathe, Breathe Twilight. Twilight. <sighs> Breathe. Breathe. So, how exactly are you a time traveler? Time travel spells are incredibly high level. I mean, I only managed to go back in time a week, and even then, I only had less than a minute! Oh, Twilight, you need to think outside the box. You get a good know how, the impossible becomes possible. Or something like that. My mentor was a bit of a cute. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that I built a time machine, and, well, now I'm here. Uh huh. And I'm secretly a robot. With mysterious powers. Really? Huh. I didn't think they had robots in this age. Hold on, let me get some tools and open you up and have a look at how you work. Ah! No, 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 no! I was joking! Sheesh. Oh? Huh. You had me convinced with how robotic you were acting. <sighs> Even ponies from the future don't give me a break. What's this crowd all about? I didn't know there was an event today. They're having an apple eating contest! Yeah, Applejack's way in the lead. Applejack! 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 Whoa, if she eats all those apples? She might get a wicked bad tummy ache. Are you cleaning a dirt road? No, I'm giving it a massage because it has cramps. I just meant it was kind of odd. So is the guy who hired me to do this. He wanted every surface around his house free of dirt and dust. Including the road. That pony must really dislike dirt. 
<sighs> and I've been out here for the past five hours. Every time it starts looking clean, a breeze or a crowd comes by forcing me to start all over. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You'll be. He's paying me by the hour. Right. It looks like at least one crusader is here. I don't know where Apple Bloomer, our little suspect, are at the moment, but maybe I can get some information from Sweetie Belle all the same. Hey, Sweetie Belle. Twilight! Hi! I haven't seen you at our clubhouse in, uh, ever! Oh, I just thought I'd stop by. How's it going with you three? Have you done any awesome crusading lately? Oh, well, no. We're on break. <sighs> I'm, I'm getting, getting the sense, the sense they, they rehearsed that, that line. line. All right, but I really need to ask about... That, that came from the clubhouse. clubhouse. Uh, what's going on in there? Oh, that's just Apple Bloom. Doing something. Something that does not involve Scoodloo. Right. Of course. <sighs> All right. Well, I just have a few questions. This swing has always confused me every time I look at it. The design is really weird, to say the least, and not exactly what I'd call practical for ponies. And another thing. As far as I can tell, it violates basic physical laws. When ponies are swinging on these things, there's, well, no upward force at all that would counteract the always present force of gravity to keep the pony aloft. I'll need to preserve the scene just so, in order to study this in great detail next time I have the opportunity. I have to solve this mystery. I have to say, Applejack did an awfully good job in this clubhouse, and Applebone fixed it up very nicely. Reminds me of the days when I was a little filly. I wasn't good with wood, of course, but I was good with books. Some of my best memories as a filly were when I was making book forts out of the books from my parents' private library. I remember I cleaned out the entire nutrition section once and made a huge fort in front of the fridge in the kitchen. It covered the whole fridge door from top to bottom. Ah, uh, that was probably my finest moment as a young filly. Although, perplexingly, Shining Armor didn't really seem to like it so much when he went for a midnight snack that day. I swear, some ponies just don't appreciate good literature. You know, I've often thought that this tree stump seemed a bit strange. Not because, logically, it should have been long since decayed or removed by now, mind you. It's the fact that on some nights, when the wind blows just right, I sometimes feel like it smells of bacon. A mystery of the universe, I suppose. Sweetie Belle, I happened to see you talking to Apple Bloom earlier in the town square. I was wondering what you two were talking about. Crusader business, perhaps? Oh, well, yeah. I guess you could call it that. As a matter of fact, that's a great thing to call it. And please tell me that's not all you have to say about it. Pretty much is. <sighs> I mean... There isn't really that much more to tell. school has been kind of down. Well, yes. I'd imagine she has been. No, no! I mean extra down. See, she kind of lost something of hers. And it was pretty important to her. She made me promise not to tell any pony. Uh, oops. Huh. Was there, was there anything, anything I picked up that might fit that bill? She'd probably have lost it when she crashed through the window, whatever it was. I should present it to Sweetie Belle, 
See if she'll talk any further. Hey, Sweetie Belle. Is this what Scootaloo lost by any chance? Oh, hey! That's it! I mean, that's part of it! Part of it? What? Um, what is it? I... I don't actually know! But I do know it was super duper important to her! It's got this ribbon attachment too! And a short while ago, Scootaloo came to school wearing it and she looked really proud of it! Unfortunately, that kind of also caught the attention of Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon, who grabbed it from her and started teasing her with it. Normally, Scootaloo just gets annoyed at that sort of thing, but that time, I don't think I've ever seen her that upset before. After I helped Apple Boom get it back for her, she didn't really want to talk much about it, but she did say something about getting it from Rainbow Dash. We do have the second half of it, though. Just give me one second. Here, let me fix it. Gulu's gonna be so excited to get it back. <laughs> Thanks, Twilight. Oh, um, actually, I... I kind of still need it. It's super important, and it's for Scootaloo. Do you think I could hold on to it for just a teensy bit longer? Oh, um, okay. But try to get it back to her before too much longer. She really wanted it back. I will. Don't worry. Thanks, Sweetie Belle. You've been a big help. All, All right, right, Rainbow Dash. Dash. You're up. So, about the noise in the clubhouse, I don't suppose I could go in and have a look? Uh-uh. Sorry, Twilight, but the clubhouse is for official crusader business only. No adult ponies allowed, except Applejack, sometimes, since she owns the farm and everything. Ugh, these, these fillies, fillies, I swear. I, swear. I don't think I'm getting anywhere right now, though. Dash, I know you aren't being truthful with me. What are you talking about, Twilight? 100% truthful, right here. Ugh, no! You are 100% lying! I already heard from Sweetie Belle that you not only know what this is, but also gave it to Scootaloo a short while ago. Ring any bells? Uh... Nope, never seen that before in my life. <laughs> Sorry, Twilight, don't know what Sweetie Belle's talking about. These fillies these days, am I right? <sighs> Rainbow Dash, let me put it this way. This was found at the crime scene. It belongs to Scootaloo. That's all I know, and that's all the investigators from Canterlot are going to know, too. Is that what you want to happen? Uh... Please, Rainbow Dash. You know something. I need to know what that is if I'm going to have any hope of clearing Scootaloo's name here. Element of loyalty? You know that thing you are that's supposed to make you stick by your friends and trust them? All right, all right, I'll talk. Jeez, I feel like I'm in a mystery novel or something. Yeah. Yeah, I gave her that ribbon. It was about, I don't know, a week or so ago. I was near the field by the school on weather duty, and Scootaloo was there too. I didn't think much of it, since she was there a lot. It's a nice open area to practice flying. I should know, I practiced there a lot too. Anyways, this time was different. I had already said hi to her, and she didn't say anything. So I flew in closer to see what was going on. 
Hey, Squirt, why are you looking all down? You didn't stub your hoof or anything, did ya? Oh, Rainbow Dash. I, um, I... Hey, what's up? You're all... I... I... <laughs> I've been out here every single day because the other ponies at school make fun of me. Because I'm a Pegasus who can't fly. And I really, really want to fly. But I just can't. And... And I don't know how! And... And I can't tell Apple Bloom or Sweetie Belle about it. Because they might laugh at me too. Because they're all good at stuff. Not good at stuff. And I don't know what to do. How, how come I'm the only pony who can't do what she's supposed to be able to do, huh? It's not... It's not fair! I mean, sure, she gets down sometimes, but... I've never seen her like this, Twilight. I didn't know what to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Squirt. What are you... And, and you're so awesome, and I want to be just like you. But I'm not awesome, and I never will be. Because when you were my age, you already got your cutie mark and helped every pony else. And I haven't done anything. Squirt, I mean, Scootaloo, stop. You don't know what you're talking about, kid. <laughs> Huh? All right, look. Wait right here, kid. I mean it. I'll be right back. I didn't know what in the hoof else to do, so I went back to my home, and then came straight back. And then, well... Here, Squirt. Take it. <laughs> What's this? A uh, ribbon? Not just any ribbon, Squirt. The ribbon. The ribbon? Ugh, yes, the ribbon. The one and only ribbon I got for winning the race where I got my cutie mark. Wait, you just gave it to her? Well, what else was I supposed to do? I've never seen her that upset, Twilight. I'm not good with Billy's. Whoa! And I can... I can have this? On one condition, Squirt. You gotta treat it right. There's a story behind that ribbon, you know. That's not just the ribbon. It represents drive. It represents guts. It represents a, uh, a don't give upness that everybody should have. But most of all, it represents courage. The courage to stick up for you and your friends. The courage to not be afraid of stupid bullies. The courage to do something really super daring for you and your friends. You wanna fly, kid? You wanna earn a cutie mark? That's how you do it. So yeah, you can have this. If you promise to trust your friends and not to think they're gonna make fun of you. Cause I can tell you right now that no real friends of yours would do that. Got that, Squirt? Wow! Thanks, Rainbow Dash! You're the coolest ever! That is pretty cool. I'm impressed. But, wait, why didn't you want to tell me this? Ugh, you wouldn't understand, Twilight. I've got an image. I've got style. I've got awesomeness. Coolness. Radicalness. That kind of sappy thing. Totally un-awesome. You gotta promise to never, ever, ever tell any pony, Twilight. My life will be ruined! Well, all right, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> but I think there's one filly who sure thought that was awesome. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, I... Did that all really happen? Did it? Did it? Huh? Huh? Yeah! Apple Bloom. How 
long have you been standing there? Forget that! How about you here? Oh, I heard all of it. Lance said Skillaloo's always talked about you, but I never thought you'd do something like that. I can't wait to tell Sweetie Belle about it. No, 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 no. You can't tell any pony. You can't. Say, we're supposed to do a show and tell thing at school in a couple days. This'll be perfect. Why, we'll have the best show and tell ever. Right, I'm doomed. What are you doing here anyways, Apple Bloom? Well, I was looking for you. See, oh, uh, well, that ribbon you got? Scootaloo kind of sort of really, really wants it back, and, well, Sweetie Belle said you had it. So? <laughs> all right, all right. On one condition, though. I think it's about time I talk to Scootaloo about all this. How about you and I deliver this ribbon together? Well, I would, but... Hurrah, Miss Scootaloo, I wouldn't let any pony who wasn't a crusader into the clubhouse. No exceptions! Oh, so she is in the clubhouse then. She? Oh, pony feathers. I did it again, didn't I? Come on, Apple Bloom. I can't clear her name without talking to her about this. She has information I need to know and I need to hear it from her. All right, all right. I guess I could... Make you an honorary cutie mark crusader for today. Then I won't be breaking my promise. <laughs> it's a deal. Only for today, though. in the clubhouse. I don't suppose... Uh-uh. Sorry, Twilight, but the clubhouse is for official crusader business only. No adult ponies allowed. Except Applejack, sometimes, since she owns the farm and everything. Ugh. Apple Bloom, help me out here. Oh, it's all right, Sweetie Belle. I've made Twy here an honorary cutie mark crusader for today. But... I have a cutie mark. I know! That's what makes her honorary! Duh! Oh! Okay then! Welcome to our clubhouse, honorary cutie mark crusader! <laughs> Thanks, Sweetie Belle. Ugh! Apple Bloom! I thought I told you not to let any non-crusaders in here! Oh, don't you worry about that, Scootaloo. I made Twy here an honorary crusader for today. You what? Ugh, Apple Bloom, that's not something you just do on your own. Oh, but she found your ribbon. Ain't that worth something? She... she did? Really? Really? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, 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 give it here! Hold your horses there, Scootaloo. First, I have a few things to ask about, if I may. Ugh, really, Twilight? You want this ribbon back, right? Fine, fine, make it quick! Scootaloo, I have to ask you about last night. Oh, uh, last night? Yes, last night. Or, more specifically, where you were last night. I don't know what you're talking about, Twilight. Oh, I think you do, Scootaloo. 
I've already talked to Applebloom about some of it. Applebloom? What? Ugh. What did she say, Twilight? I know that you three were around Town Square. So perhaps we should start there. It was supposed to be a secret. But yeah, we've been working on a comedy routine for Rarity's birthday. I imagine you already heard that much from Apple Blabbermouth. We started pretty late in the evening around Town Square, so we could be there when there weren't any ponies around. Just a minute. That's what happened when you started. What happened after you started? Were you just working on that routine? Nothing else? Well, yeah. Can't say we did much else. <sighs> Can't, Can't see much out of place so, so far, far, at least. All right. Do you think you could tell me what you did do? After we got started, we got into our routine pretty heavily. Heck, we were working on it nonstop until we called it a night. Not entirely non-stop, I'm afraid. Huh? I happen to know that you three took a break part of the way through your practice session. And I also happen to know that neither Applebloom nor Sweetie Belle knew where you were during that time. <laughs> Applebloom! Sorry, Scootaloo. Well, what about it? Huh? Maybe we did take a break and I went off somewhere else. What about it? Doesn't mean anything. It's not like you know where I was. Hmm. Actually, I do. This evidence reveals where you were. Uh, no. I don't think it does. <laughs> right. I guess not. Anyway, Twilight, all you can prove is that we took a break and that I didn't stick around. It's not like you know where I was. How's this? Actually, I think I have a pretty good idea of where you were. What? How? I talked to Rarity earlier and learned that she witnessed an orange and purple pony running out the door after she discovered her home had been ransacked and her prize jewel stolen. And I also found part of this ribbon just outside the window to her boutique. Not to mention there were tire tracks that looked suspiciously like your scooters, leading directly to that window. Sounding familiar yet, Scootaloo? Uh, hello? Actually, no! can't say it is! Uh, what? Come on, Twilight! None of that points to me! Listen to yourself! I jumped through her window to break in? I mean, that's gonna hurt! Not to mention make a lot of noise! And why in the world would I steal anything from some pony whose sister I'm friends with? That makes no sense! All you got is circumstantial evidence! I don't know whether to be annoyed by her stubbornness or impressed by the fact that she correctly used the phrase circumstantial evidence in a sentence. Stay cool, Twilight. You already know what you need here. You just need to find ways to prove it to her. Honestly, Twilight, I can't believe this! You're accusing me of stealing from my best friend's sister? What's gotten into you? Just a minute. Scootaloo, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm simply stating facts. Please, calm down and trust me on this. Ugh! I'm not gonna calm down when you're talking like this! Give me a break, Twilight! Give me one good reason why I'd steal from her. No, not even just from her. From any pony! Just a minute. Ugh, listen to me, Scootaloo. I'm not saying you stole from her or any pony else. If you aren't, then why are you talking all about how Rarity saw me and how I broke her window, huh? Because others are going to think you actually did it, Scootaloo. At face value, it looks like an awfully high-profile heist. I didn't steal anything, Twilight! I'm not a thief, and you can't prove otherwise! 
I'm sorry for doing this to you, Skulu, but the truth has to come out if I'm going to be able to help you in this. I hate to say it, but I think some pony very close to you accidentally gave you a motive here, Skulu. Even if you didn't actually do it. Honestly, Twilight, I can't believe this! You're accusing me of stealing- already right right can't bluff this one twilight i better think this one over before responding again give me one good reason why i steal from her no not even just for i did All right. All right, what? I can, in fact, provide a motive for why you'd want to steal Rarity's prize jewel. Uh huh. Scootaloo, I know that a short while ago, Rainbow Dash gave you a very special ribbon of hers and told you a few choice words. Among those, however, was the instruction that you should do something very daring for you and your friends. I trust you know where I'm going with this. If you really did do a bold heist of Rarity's boutique in the middle of the night to steal her most precious jewel, that would certainly be awfully daring. Gah! What? No, Twilight, no! You got it all wrong! Th that wasn't it at all! After she said that, I started practicing sk- 
Scooter tricks, not that! Stealing things from ponies is so uncool, Twilight. I never! You remember those tricks that Rainbow Dash did at the Best Young Flyer competition, right? I had to try one of those out! Of course I can't fly, so, well, I kind of have to make do with what I can do. You remember that trick where she spun clouds around, right? So awesome! Well, not as awesome as the Sonic Rain Boom, of course, but I figured, you know, maybe I'd work up to that. The carousel boutique's nice and round, so I've been practicing going around it at top speed. I'm getting pretty good at it. Anyway, the point is, that was not what I had in mind when she gave me that advice. At all. All right, Scootaloo. I believe you. Come on, Twilight! Even you have to admit that the story you're telling here sounds awfully far-fetched. Just a minute. All I'm doing, Scootaloo, is putting together the evidence as best as I can to see what it tells us. Well, you're not doing a very good job of it, I can tell you that. Patience, Twilight. Patience. First, there's the window itself. I mean, really, Twilight? You're going to claim that I rolled directly towards the window and crashed through it? Why in the hoop would I do that? Hmm. I know it sounds far-fetched, Scootaloo, but this shows that it's the truth. Why, like, quit <laughs> wasting my time. <sighs> okay, sorry. <sighs> Twilight, I don't know what you're on about, but I don't like it, and you clearly have no idea what you're talking about. But, no, wait! <sighs> no offense, but if you had a point to make, you'd have made it by now. Now, if you don't mind, this clubhouse is for cutie my crusaders only. And your honorary status is over. Ugh. All right. I can't, I can't believe, believe this. this. My, my first, first big, big test as an investigator, an investigator and, I and I completely blew, blew it. it. Now I'll never, never get, to get, to get to the bottom, bottom of this. Of Unless... No, no I can't, I can't give, give up. up. I promised, I promised both Verity and Apple Bloom that I'd get to the bottom of this, and I will. I just... I just need to rethink things. Go back over everything. Here goes. I have to find the truth, no matter what. It was supposed to be a secret! But yeah, we've been working on a comedy routine for Rarity's birthday. I imagine you already heard that much from Apple Blabbermouth. Not entirely non-stop, I'm afraid. Huh? I happen to know that you three took a break part of the way through your practice session. And I also happen to know that neither Apple Bloom nor Sweetie Belle knew where you were during that time. <laughs> Apple Bloom! Sorry, Scootaloo. Well, what about it? Huh? Maybe we did take a break and I went off somewhere else. What about it? Doesn't mean anything. It's not like you know where I was. How's this? Actually, I think I have a pretty good idea of where you were. What? How? I talked to Rarity earlier and learned that she witnessed an orange and purple pony running out the door after she discovered her home had been ransacked and her prize jewel stolen. And I also found part of this ribbon just outside the window to her boutique. Not to mention there were tire tracks that looked suspiciously like your scooters, leading directly to that window. Sounding familiar yet, Scootaloo? <laughs> well... Actually, no! can't say it is! Uh, what? Come on, Twilight! None of that points to me! Listen to yourself! I jumped through her window to break in? I mean, that's gonna hurt! Not to mention make a lot of noise! And why in the world would I steal anything from some pony whose sister I'm friends with? That makes no sense! 
All you got is circumstantial evidence. I don't know whether to be annoyed by her stubbornness or impressed by the fact that she correctly used the phrase circumstantial evidence in a sentence. Stay cool, Twilight. You already know what you need here. You just need to find ways to prove it to her. Honestly, Twilight, I can't believe this. You're accusing me of stealing from my best friend's sister? What's gotten into you? Give me one good reason why I steal from... Wait a second. All right. All right what? I can, in fact, provide a motive for why you'd want to steal Rarity's prize jewel. Uh-huh. Scootaloo, I know that a short while ago, Rainbow Dash gave you a very special ribbon of hers and told you a few choice words. Among those, however, was the instruction that you should do something very daring for you and your friends. I trust you know where I'm going with this. If you really did do a bold heist of Rarity's boutique in the middle of the night to steal her most precious jewel, that would certainly be awfully daring. Gah! What? No, Twilight, no! You got it all wrong! That, that wasn't it at all! After she said that, I started practicing scooter tricks, not that! Stealing things from ponies is so uncool, Twilight! I never! You remember those tricks that Rainbow Dash did at the Best Young Flyer competition, right? I had to try one of those out! Of course I can't fly, so, well, I kinda had to make do with what I can do. You remember that trick where she spun clouds around, right? So awesome! Well, not as awesome as the Sonic Rain Boom, of course, but I figured, you know, maybe I'd work up to that. The carousel boutique's nice and round, so I've been practicing going around it at top speed. I'm getting pretty good at it. Anyway, the point is, that was not what I had in mind when she gave me that advice. At all. All right, Scootaloo. I believe you. Come on, Twilight. Even you have to admit that the story you're telling here sounds awfully far-fetched. First, there's the window itself. I mean, really, Twilight? You're going to claim that I rolled directly towards the window and crashed through it? Why in the hoop would I do that? Second, if all the rarity said was what color the pony was, then that could have been any pony. We're pretty colorful, you know. Unless you have evidence that only I could have fit that description. First, make sure you've got what you need for this one. First! Hmm... I know it... Twilight... <laughs> Come on... First, there's a...
just a minute. Scootaloo, what other pony around here is orange and purple? Well, you're pretty purple, Twilight. And Applejack sure is orange. Who's to say that you two didn't team up to rob Rarity, huh? <laughs> Note, Note to, to self. self. Phillies, Phillies have, have hyperactive imaginations. imaginations. Really? This is some pretty darn weak ep- Just a minute. I don't know, Scootaloo. Why don't you tell me why you'd do that? Well, I- ugh. Nice try, Twilight. Worth, Worth the, shot. the shot. Second, if all the- Just a minute. Ugh, <sighs> we are not, Scootaloo. It's what the team from Canterlot is going to have to work from if they arrive before this is resolved. And trust me, they aren't as interested in the genuine truth as I am. Please, Twilight, if they're as dense as I remember them being, you really think that they're gonna be able to do anything at all? <sighs> That's not a chance I want to take. And even if they do get nowhere, then the real thief is still at large. So, are you gonna talk to me or not? I just can't. Sorry, Twilight. Uh, guess, guess we're doing, doing this the hard way. way. As, As usual. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere here without some solid evidence. I must be able to answer one of these questions she's asking. But the question is, which? Come on, Twilight! Even you have to admit that the story you're telling here sounds awfully far-fetched. All I'm doing, Scootaloo, is putting together the evidence as best as I can to see what it tells us. Well, you're not doing a very good job of it, I can tell you that. Patience, Twilight. Patience. First, there's the window itself. I mean, really, Twilight? You're going to claim that I roll directly towards the window and crash through it? Why in the hoof would I do that? No, actually I'm not going to claim that you rode directly towards the window, because that's not what happened. Well, then what? You said it yourself. You've been practicing going around the carousel boutique at top speed, right? Uh, yeah. What do you think might happen if, say, Opalescence were to suddenly be in the way? We did find her hair near the tire marks after all. You'd have to swear pretty hard to avoid hitting her, right? Hard enough that you might leave tire marks and lose control of your scooter. And then perhaps crash and be launched accidentally through the window of her boutique. Am I getting warm, Scootaloo? Bingo! Bullseye! Can't get warmer than that. Enough already, I give. Do you think... Now, you might be willing to finally tell me what happened that night? Apple Bloom? Well, I can help you, Scootaloo! I... I can just feel it! <sighs> alright, alright. No more running, hiding, or dodging. I'll just give it to you straight. Not much else to do now, right? You already know most of it, so, well, I won't bore you with those details. Yeah, I was practicing that trick. Olba got in front of me. I tried to avoid her and wham! Before I knew it, I was flying through that window. I, um, I guess the star from my ribbon got caught on something was torn off when I did. Honestly, I didn't see much when I was there. I saw some dark figures who I think got startled when I crashed through the window. They ran away pretty quickly after I did. I heard one of them trip, at which point I heard a, well, a pretty scary growl and a yelp, as well as the sound of, well, something getting ripped. By a claw, I guess? It didn't take me long to figure out what was going on and that I needed to get the heck out of here, so I ran as quickly as I could. And, well, that's about it, really. I totally forgot about the scooter when I left since I was in such a panic, so I came back and got it later. I hadn't actually thought about what happened to your scooter until just now. Any reason you bring that up? It's strange, Twilight. 
I feel like there are thousands of ponies somewhere out there watching us, looking closely for missing information, and judging us harshly if they find any. That's oddly specific. Call it a Philly's instinct. Well, thanks, Scootaloo. I think it's about time I paid the Carousel Boutique a second look. Oh, and before I forget, here's your ribbon back. Sorry to have used it as a bit of a bargaining chip. <laughs> Yay! Guessing that Scootaloo did most of the interior decorating of this clubhouse? Actually, no, I did. Well, Scootaloo does host weekly meetings for the Rainbow Dash Band Club. And these pictures are the results of an art contest I hosted. Aren't they awesome, Twilight? The best pictures ever? Huh? 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 Um, yes. Just like the other couple dozen of them you've shown me in the past. In rapid succession. Sheesh, I didn't know there were that many poses you can even put one pony in. Who's this? I don't remember you hanging out with this pony before. Um, Twilight, I would think that that was obvious. Oh, well, in that case, is it Sunbloom from school? No. Um, Berry Pinch? No. Cat and Cloudy? No! Come on, Twilight, you're not even trying! What? No! I swear I am! I just don't know who it is. It's Winona, Twilight! Winona! Um, Sweetie Belle, by any chance were you the painter? Yep, Rarity was super proud of me. Oh, now I see the resemblance. No, wait, nope, still nothing. Oh, hey, paintbrushes. What are these for? Duh, for paint and stuff. All three of us love arts and crafts while we are in school, so why not continue that at our weekly meetings? What sort of things do you make with them? Anything we need for our adventures. You name them, we probably have painted them. We've painted vehicles, hang gliders, props, fireworks, giant greeting cards, live animals, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, back up there. Live animals? Yeah! We saw how cool the painted animals at the circus looked, and we wanted to try our hooves at painting some. We tried our luck with some cows and chickens on the farm, but Applejack got pretty angry at us the next morning since Aunt and Uncle Orange came to visit. Still, the looks on the orange faces were too funny. That creates so many questions in my mind that I really think it would be best to leave it there and not ask any of them. Why, yes, 
darling. It was a dreadful, awful mess. Just a few more bits and pieces to put in order, and it'll be good as new. Dad, it's a crime scene. I know. Wasn't it terrible? It's taken me all morning to get it back to near working condition. <sighs> Rarity, you don't just clean up a crime scene. You need to leave them as is so we can find evidence implicating the culprit. All the mystery novels are completely unanimous on this. Oh, um, right. I suppose that would make sense. Ugh, forget it. Let's see if there's anything of note left. Well, this is something at least. I suppose... This stool wasn't like this yesterday, right? I should say not! I certainly would have cleaned that up if it had been... Like I was about to. Down, Rarity. Resist the urge. Let it be dirty for one day. <sighs> if you insist, I shall do my best. But... I don't see anything else. Is there really nothing left to look at in here? <sighs> no offense, but this stool isn't going to do much. Well, if you've overlooked anything, I might be able to help with that. Really? How? Do you recall that gem finding spell that I taught you a little while ago, Twilight? Well, I just so happen to have been improving it to find other things that are easily overlooked. I tell you, Twilight, that has been invaluable keeping everything in good working condition around the boutique. I used to spend so long finding all the little things I work with around here. Huh. Well, that does sound useful. Okay, let's try it out. Gems? Rarity, did the thieves try to steal these too? Well, no, actually. Those had been on that stool. I imagine they were knocked over with it. 
I had been trying to find them, though. Thank you, Twilight. <sighs> uh, never mind then. Well, now I think that's about it for things to be found in here. Thanks, Rarity. Say, I wonder if we missed anything else somewhere else. Rarity, would you mind tagging along a little longer? That ability looks useful. But of course, Twilight! Lead the way, my dear! I should I check should elsewhere to see if we've missed anything. anything. Perhaps, Perhaps outside, outside the boutique, boutique to start. To start. <laughs> Looks like a clue. Really, Twilight? What is it? It's a key. I can just bet that the thieves... Ah! Er, uh, um... <laughs> Twilight, darling, I think you ought to just ignore that. What? But it's... Twilight, trust me. You truly, truly do not want to know what lies within that which this key opens. Um... Why? Within it contains stories of drama, intrigue, mystery, stories that were never meant to see pony eyes. Why, Twilight, I dare say you know not what horrors you could unlock with that very key. I'm getting the sense you want me to leave this key alone. Oh, well, I suppose that might be a wise decision, if you're asking me. Sometimes I don't understand ponies. It's a... Ah! <laughs> wow, Rarity. You certainly take good care of your mirrors. These practically shine. But of course. It's how I size up all of my clients. You can't see clearly if you can't first see clearly. You know? Um, yeah. I think? Hmm... Now that I look at you in this light, why, you're looking positively radiant, darling! Uh... I am? But of course! Picture it! I could put together a nice green dress for you! No, not green, sea green! And it would be flowing and would have sapphires from the hip down to the bottom in a swirling fashion! Rarity... But it would have to have the shoulders just right. Why, if they're too small, then it's like they aren't there at all. But if they're too big, well, then you look just like a cliché tacky princess. Nothing like the princesses we know. Rarity. And of course we have to give you something else to wear on top of your back. Why, it just wouldn't do to make there be nothing separate. Now I'm thinking of something silk. Maybe orange? Or perhaps... Yes, of course! Something red! My dear, to accentuate that rather tasteful streak you have in your mane, and... Birdie! Oh, um, yes, Twilight? Um, perhaps we should be getting back to our investigation? But I'm in the zone, Twilight! You could be the star inspiration for my entire new fashion lineup! Rarity, investigation. Ah, all right, all right. Hmm, what's this? A hairpin, if I'm not mistaken. Ha! This is conclusive evidence on multiple levels. First, we most certainly have never seen Scootaloo use a hairpin, so we know this cannot be from her. Furthermore, if this is indeed not hers, then it must be from the thief. There's no other option. Therefore, we also know that the culprit is likely a female who uses hairpins. Ha! Score one for Investigator Twilight. Twilight, could I see that for a second? Of course. Do you see anything else that may be deduced? Well, no. But I do believe that this is the hairpin I lost yesterday. Thank you, Twilight. Right. Well, I suppose that's, um, another option, too. Twilight, my 
my dear. May I ask where you're going? Oh, well, I thought maybe the thief had come in through the second floor window. Twilight, that is my bedroom. I rather think I would have noticed if they had come in through there. Uh, <laughs> right. Never mind. Interesting. The grass has been trampled in this area, like some pony ran through here. Ordinarily, that wouldn't be remarkable, considering that thieves naturally would trample the grass as they left, but there's something that strikes me as odd about this. The thing that's odd about this trampled grass is... Wait a, Wait a second. second. What, what was it that Apple Bloom said about what she saw? And then a while after that, some pony ran across the bridge real fast. We didn't get a good look at it, but I, I'm pretty sure it was Scootaloo twice. Scootaloo went across the bridge. Yet this trampled grass rather clearly does not lead towards the bridge. I think it's safe to say this adds even more credibility to the idea that some pony had been here before Scootaloo. The question now is, who? Was it another pony? No, that seems unlikely. A pony wouldn't have left behind this piece of evidence. Hmm. This piece of evidence, of course! No, wait. That doesn't make any sense, Twilight. Think harder. I know they left behind a mark that ponies wouldn't easily make. Who was at the boutique last night? Was it another? How fit! That stool was ripped up by what seems clearly a claw. But ponies sure don't have claws. Someone who would steal a jewel and who has claws. I'm starting to get a picture here. Ready. I think I may have to do something. Truly, Twilight? Fantastic! Do tell! It's only an educated guess right now. But it might lead to something bigger than that. Follow me. I, I think, think I can get where I need to go from the south entrance of Town Square. Square. Time to pay an old friend a little visit. visit. the gems rarity that's not all that's in this area then i'm afraid that i do not oh no no twilight you can't mean i'm afraid so we need to head east at this fork <sighs> if we must Oh, it's anywhere! 
at twilight. Oh, my darling Opal, wherever could you be? Mama's so worried about you, Opal. Well, well, I let her have a fainting spell. I'll make a note that this is Opal's. Very interesting finding it here of all places. My name is Twilight Sparkle. We are investigating a crime and we would like to ask permission to enter your caverns to search. So, can we come in? Maybe? Uh, please? No. Move aside, Twilight! One must allow a lady to handle a situation with such a fine, gentle cult. Dog, whatever. Ahem, dearest, uh, dog, we would be ever so grateful if you would allow us entry. No. Oh, come now. Surely we can, uh, work things out. If you get my drift. No. No? Is that it? You're quite sure? Yes. I never! You shall stand aside, my good dog, right this instant! No. <laughs> you, sir, are a ruffian and a cur! And I have half a mind to find whoever is responsible for such a clearly insufficient upbringing and rearing and give that individual a rather significant piece of my mind! Are we quite clear on this matter? Yes. And furthermore, I did say that I might just report this behavior to... Oh, whichever officials are tasked with regulating this sort of thing. <laughs> Let me tell you! Ah, <sighs> what in the seventh dog's dens is this ridiculous... <laughs> Not you! What are you here for? <gasps> you! <laughs> If I could interject for just a little bit... Sheesh. I see those two get along as well as they did before. Now, if we're all done being little kids, ahem, Mr. Um Dog, my name is Twilight Sparkle. I'm investigating a crime that happened last night, and I have reason to suspect that someone from here might be involved. Could we take a look around your um caverns? No. 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 <sighs> I guess now we know, we know who trains, trains the, guards the guards around here. Mr. Dog, if you don't let us in, then I'm going to have to... <laughs> I wouldn't do that, Pony. Um, excuse me? You do not have warrant. No warrant, no entry. You enter, you trespass! When in Equestria did the Diamond Dogs get all... weak? <laughs> I'm afraid they are. <sighs> right. Much as it pains me to admit that, things have changed between ponies and dogs since we made, uh, first contact, I suppose you could call it. Uh, why am I always the last to know this sort of thing? You see, we have a bit of an agreement. They abide by our laws, and we leave them alone. Which means that I'm afraid we indeed cannot simply barge in like hooligans. Much as I would like to... Okay, 
And how do we get around this exactly? A warrant, my dear. Like you said, if we show the mayor reason for suspicion, then she can issue a search warrant to allow us entry. Simple, really. Simple, right. Famous last words, Rarity. All right, well, don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Really? I'm not moving anywhere. Unlike you. You go away now. Good riddance. All right. Well, the mayor's going to be working at Town Hall this time of day, so back to Town Square. Nowhere else to go right now. Truth, but I am not quite sure where you're going. We were going east, were we not? Oh, right. My mistake. Let's go.